and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited because I'm finally getting around to my apartment tour. I wanted to start decorating for fall and I knew I had to do an apartment tour before I did that. They're just like literally two things that we have to finish up, but I feel like it's good enough to show you guys. So as always, I will link everything down below in the description box to like the littlest things that I talk about. I'll try to label it well. If I forget anything, just comment down below and I'll try to respond with the link to things. Um, most stuff is linkable and and I feel like you guys will really love our place. I mean, you've seen most of it, but I'll go into more detail with this tour, tell you guys where everything is from and my little favorite parts of our apartment. So we'll just start at the front door where I am. Um, so this is our front area. We actually put this little like mail thing up. It has, we really should just throw all this away. I don't know <laughs> why our mail is still in there. Okay, so let's walk over into the kitchen to start and you got your fridge and then our pantry, which I did a whole organization video on if you want to check that out. And then we have our coffee corner over here, which we use clearly every single day. And our coffee maker, we really like this, I'd say. Mm. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's a great coffee maker, Sam's little Chemex thing. And then this cute little jar to hold our coffee. These are from Amazon. I use them everywhere, especially in our pantry. And then in these drawers, we just have a ton of stuff. This is like our silverware. And it took me a long time to find the perfect silverware organizer, but this one's from Walmart. And I really like the way it's laid out. And then something I feel like is really useful to have in the kitchen that I want to show you guys is our little knife holder. This is great, so I'll link this below if you guys want to check it out. But then we just keep everything else in here. I'm not going to go through every cabinet and stuff because that would just be way too much. But I will go through all the cute things. So this little fruit basket is from Target. And then this toaster is so great. We love it. It's Smeg. Not only is it cute, but it's actually a very solid toaster. Even Sam says it's a really solid toaster. Mm, so. Sam approved. Sam approved. And then this is our gas stove. We love this thing. We really, really wanted a gas stove because they're just so amazing um, and so good to cook with. So I'm really glad we got one. And then on top of it is my baby. It is my Dutch oven that I love. And I added this gold knob on top and it's so cute now. And then we just have this little utensils thing from Target. This holds all of my wood utensils because I feel like they're very pleasing to the eye. Then we have just our more useful things that I grab for all the time, like salt and pepper, and then my cookbooks. And then over here is my little baking corner. This is where all the baking happens. I love it. This is my KitchenAid. And then Sam actually got me this super cute bowl for Christmas last year. And I love it. Where'd you get it? KitchenAid.com. Oh, you got it from KitchenAid? Yeah. Okay, well, they, I think they also have it on like crate and barrel and stuff, but I like it because it's cute and it's also a lot bigger, so it's very useful. And then these cute little jars are also from Amazon. And then we also have this, what is this? <laughs> Apple HomePod Mini. An Apple HomePod Mini. Sam had to convince me to get this because I didn't see the need for it. It's like Apple's version of uh, Amazon Alexa. But it's actually been really nice and I was wrong. She's really great and very useful. Hey Alexa. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my gosh, that's you're, terrible. You're good. She, it doesn't hurt her feeling because okay. she didn't hear that. She didn't hear it, no, she's listening all the time. Hey Siri, play Hillsong United. Now playing Hillsong United. It's pretty cool. Okay, hey Siri, turn off but she's super nice whenever you're cooking and stuff. And then over here, we just have our sink and our dishwasher. Um, and right here is this cute little scrub thing. Not only is it cute, but it's super useful because it's got like a spring down there. So you press it down and then soap comes out underneath. And then this cute soap dispenser, I guess you could call it, is from Target. I definitely need to add more soap in there. And then this has actually been very, very useful. Over here inside the sink, we have this little like sponge holder and we just keep our random sponges and stuff in there. And then under the sink, I wanted to show you guys this because I really love this. So we actually keep our dish dryer down here. That way it's not out on the counter for the world to see all of your clean dishes, which I really like. So I like that it's just put away and out of sight. And then over here on top of the island, we also have this little basket that's from Ikea. This cute little jug thing is from Hobby Lobby. And I also put these little things in there 
also from Hobby Lobby. I've used them like around the house and I got them 50% off, which was great. And then we have these three bar stools. It actually came in a set of three from Bed Bath & Beyond and I used 20% off. So we saved a lot of money because that's a big amount whenever, you know, it's a large cost. This is my prized possession. It took me a long time to get this thing. So this is actually an Ikea shoe cabinet and it was black, but I painted it this color and then I changed out the knobs and it was a lot of work and we got it off of Facebook Marketplace, which love Facebook Marketplace, but it's perfect. It's great for storage and stuff and it looks super, super cute. So I got this frame from Target in a set of two. The other one is over there. And this mirror, I love this mirror. It's from Amazon and I reloaded the page every single day because it was sold out for so long. Um, but of course I'll link it down below. Then I have this cute little candle that just stays there. Whenever you move out of the kitchen, you directly see the living room and in between is this nice little storage closet. And this is just our random like storage closet. It's pretty much the only storage closet we have in here. Up there I keep like gift wrap and stuff and then these are all of our like reusable bags and then I hang the rest of these things with these little S hooks that I also use in our closet that I'll show you in a second. Our little chairs and just tons of other random stuff. We've got extra seating, tools, blankets, it's really random. So now we're in the living room and the first thing that you see is this olive tree. I was debating if I loved it or not. It definitely looks kind of uh, sparse, but I feel like that's how they're supposed to look. And I've kind of grown to love it because I feel like if it was really fluffy, it would make the space seem smaller. So it takes up eye space without taking up actual space, which I like. And then the pot is from Hobby Lobby as well. And now you move into our actual living room. My goal with this space was just to make it really cozy. That was my goal with this whole apartment. And I feel like it's really cozy. And I feel like it's just very inviting and it's actually comfy. You know how couches are cute, they're not comfy. This couch is super comfy. But before we get to the couch, I'll talk about these things. So this lamp is from Target. This cute little dry flower thing is actually from Anthropology. And then this baseball I got on my bachelorette trip for Sam. It's from the Magnolia Silos and Long story short, I paid way more money than I thought I was. I thought I was paying like $5 and I paid like $35 or something stupid. But and, I love it. But yeah, Sam loves it. He uses it every single day. But I will say it looks really cute on the side table. And then this, actually, who made this? You or me? I think that one was me. Okay. I wanted so, it to be a spoon rest. Yes, you did make it. So me and Sam for like our six months, we went to a clay making class and we made some pottery. And he was trying to make a spoon rest, but I told him he's not allowed to put a dirty spoon on it because I think it's too cute for him. <laughs> this couch is from Living Spaces. We took a big risk on this couch because we couldn't go in store and try to sit on it because we don't have any near here. They're mainly like in Texas and stuff. So um, I just DM'd a ton of people online that I found with this couch and got their thoughts on it. And they all were like very honest. They were like, it's good for the price. And I would agree. It was what, less than $900? Mm -hmm. And it's so comfy and it fits a ton of people. We had all of our friends over and we all sat on here very comfortably and it was just awesome. So I really do love this couch. It's definitely not like a long-term couch, but it definitely does the job. And then this little blanket right here that I just threw on the side is from Target. And all my pillows are actually from Target. I don't know if you can tell, but I love Target. Sorry, it just got kind of cloudy, so hopefully the sun comes back out. But this carpet is the first thing I bought for our apartment, and we love it. We love the design, and I feel like it's the one thing that's a pop of color in this place, and everything else I went super neutral, and I love it. And then our coffee table, we also got off of Facebook Market, but it's actually from World Market. So we got a really good deal on that, and I love the used look on it. And then this little tray thing is from Hobby Lobby, and so are these containers. And it's that same little, like, I don't, what is this, wheat? It looks like wheat, um, also from Hobby Lobby. So this little area is one of my favorites in our apartment. I feel like it just looks really privy. So this TV console is from Ikea. We didn't have to paint it. Like this is the color that they came out with, which I feel like it's not very Ikea, but it is new. So we really like it. These little jugs are from Target and this is also from Target. And then these little candle holders are from Hobby Lobby along with the candles. And then this is the other 
picture frame to that set of the one over on the other little table over there and it was pretty affordable also from Target and so is this little mini lamp and then in the actual TV console we have this basket which is so nice for holding things so we have our HDMI cord and some coasters in there underneath we just have some decorative stuff like this so you'll notice throughout the apartment I've got a ton of little birds everywhere and that's because it reminds me of Matthew 6 I love that verse and I feel like birds remind me not to worry so that's why I have them kind of sprinkled throughout the apartment but in here is just tons of books random stuff that I don't want you to see so this is where I spend pretty much every morning reading my Bible I love this little set Sam's parents actually got it uh, for us for our wedding they got us the chair and then um, my best friend's family got us this little stool It is so comfy if you guys watch my vlog So, you know, I sit here all the time Turn on my lamp and it's just it's very cozy and these are from Target Studio McGee line So this is the other side of our couch and this was something I wanted so bad for our apartment I I just feel like it's very cozy because it's kind of hanging and warm lighting and I love it because I don't know if you can tell but is my head in the way? No. Okay, but the light can adjust, which is super nice. Um, and this is from Target. I don't know if you guys can see a trend, but I really love Target. And then this little holder is where we put all of our Bible study stuff. So in the morning, we just come over here, grab our stuff. It's very simple. And then this basket is from Amazon, and it just holds all of our blankets. It's really easy to just sit on the couch and reach over and grab it. And then this thing. This thing is amazing. So this is a little, like tray that can be laid flat or it can bend around the arm of your couch just like it was and it's great because we don't have a side table over here so if someone's just sitting here they can just set their drink or snack or whatever right there which is super nice so the last thing over here is our curtains and our curtain rods so our curtains are just from amazon they're like basic linen and then our curtain rods are from target then the very last thing in our living room is this beautiful scratch mark <laughs> by the one and only sam <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, this frame is from Target, and then I actually just got the print off of Etsy and printed it at Staples. You can kind of tell it's a print. I didn't do a very good job of putting it in the frame, but it does the job. We really try to keep our living room very minimal and kind of like clutter-free with the walls and stuff, and I feel like we really did, so I feel like we did a good job with that. So you walk out of the living room and you see the kitchen, and then in between our bathroom and our actual room is the little desk area. So this is what we use to work, kind of mainly me, just cause I work from home. Um, but I do love this little space. So this cute little lamp is from Target and so is this frame and I just put one of our wedding photos in there. I'm gonna shut the lamp off so that it doesn't ruin the lighting. So this monthly calendar is from Target and so is like all of this stuff, pretty much. This planner, this little thing, these cute little um, folders and all of that stuff. Most of the stuff is from Target, like this is from Target, all of that up there is from Target. I thrifted those, that's from Target, those are my books. And this is from Target, this is actually a candle from Urban Outfitters, it used to be pink but I painted it white. And then this is a cute little cross that one of my high school teachers, Miss Price, got me. If you guys have been watching for a long time then you know who that is. But I just keep it on here and it always makes me think of her. And then my favorite part about our desk area is my chair. We definitely splurged on this chair, but I really do love it. It's so comfy, wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. Like it's, you're not tired of sitting whenever you sit in it. It's from World Market, but I did use 20% off, so a little something. So we really wanted to create some storage for around the desk area because we needed a printer and all sorts of like filing stuff. So I got this little cabinet or like bin thing off of Amazon. Now for my favorite part and it's our bedroom because it is so cozy. So this is the door into our room and right here we have this little plant. What is this? <laughs> no idea. Plant hanger. I think it's really cute. It's from my friend's little shop. It's called I'll just put it on the screen because I think it's in Portuguese and I don't know how to say that but it's so cute She makes such cute things and she gave this to me and it just it meant a lot It's so cute. So it goes perfect right here and then over here. We have our dresser This dresser is the most basic dresser from Ikea and it was a pain in the butt to put together That was the video where I was so mad and it's funny looking back now So over here I have this cute little mini base from Hobby Lobby and the same little wheat 
things and then this frame is from Target and this is one of our wedding photos and I wish there was a way to hide this but it's just it's just not going to happen but we just have our TV and then these cute little things this is from Target this is from Target and this is Sam's little area that he puts his watches in. that's all I get it's all he gets this no. is his little part of our room she gets the whole apartment I just get that <laughs> no this whole side of the dresser is yours and then this mirror is actually from Home Goods, but a couple years ago and it was only 60 bucks. I got a really good deal on it. And then this little random planter down here is from Urban Outfitters. And then I have these same curtains in here as I do out there. They're also from Amazon. And the same curtain rod that's from Target. So now onto the bed. I love our bed. The actual mattress is from Birch. I've worked with them before. They're really, really great. So if my code is still live, I'll use it down below. They're not sponsoring this, but we just genuinely love our bed. And then let's talk bedding. So this little chunky knit blanket is from Target from the Casa Luna brand. I love it. I think it just adds texture to the whole bed. And then our actual duvet is linen. It's also from Casa Luna from Target. And then this lumbar pillow is from Target. These pillows are from Target and you guessed it, these are also from Target. Um, I love them all. I think they're really, really cute. And then this is the same frame as the one in the living room, also from Target, and then the print I got off of Etsy. Now, as for our actual bed frame, I love this. I think it's beautiful and it was so affordable for being a whole bed frame. Like at the bottom of our bed, it goes all the way around. It's not just headboard. So this is also from Living Spaces and this is their Dean upholstered bed maybe, but this we actually got as a wedding gift, which was a really awesome wedding gift, but we love it. I think it just kind of brings everything together. And then over here we have our side tables. I get questions from you guys all the time where these are from and I got them from TJ Maxx like three years ago. So I don't know if they still have them, but they're really great and I feel like they're a good contrast to everything else in the room. Then our lamps, my beloved lamps. I love these lamps so much. They're so cute. These are also from Target. I really like how these lamps dim up and down. Um, while I'm reading at night, I'll just kind of dim it really low. Then we just have a picture from our wedding. And then on Sam's side of the room, it's the exact same thing. Except he's got a Yankees baseball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving on from our bedroom, we have this really cool like in-between area um, that we didn't know what it could be used for because they put the shelf here as if it could be a closet, but we've got a really big closet. So I decided to put my vanity here. Um, and this is where I get ready. It just kind of houses everything. So I've got this mirror from Target that whenever I'm sitting here, I just move closer. And then I have this jewelry hanger that I've had since freshman year of college. And it is from the brand Umbra. I think I got it from the container store though. My actual desk is from Target and it just holds all of my makeup and stuff. And then this beautiful, beautiful little, I don't even know what it is. It's almost like cast. But this is one of my favorite like artwork pieces in our apartment and it's actually from Magnolia in Waco, Texas. So that's fun. And then this mirror is from Target and then I just keep my perfumes over here. And these baskets are <laughs> clearly from Target. I'm really bad about taking tags off things, but it's just extra storage and stuff like that. And then under here I just have a trash can. This is like all my technology in one basket and then a little chair and this is from TJ Maxx. So from this little area, you move into our bathroom. It's really cool because you can actually come in through the living room so that they don't have to walk in through our bedroom. But we really wanted the double vanity and it has been really nice. So this is my side, this is Sam's side. And really the only thing we have on the counter is this little stool thing. This is from Amazon, another little bird. And then this cute little thing is from World Market. And then this is just my wedding day perfume. It just looks cute, so I put it out there. And then this is the same soap dispenser from Target. And then this is another little clay thing that I made. I think I made this one. And it just kind of houses like my dainty jewelry right here. Then we have a speaker back here and then a towel holder. Oh, I just showed myself. That's okay. Hey. <laughs> um, and then this is Sam's side. And then we have these drawers and our under the sink space. Nothing, nothing too cool. And then moving over above the toilet, we have just like this cute towel and then above our toilet I put this thing that my aunt made me she I don't want to use the wrong word I think it's crochet knit I don't know 
some form she made it by hand and it says our last name which is so sweet so i love it thank you aunt jessica such a sweet gift and then over here we just have toilet paper trash can our trash can is actually from target and i think it's cute and then these little baskets i have to talk about because they're very useful they're from ikea but they actually house all like my tampons pads things like that but that way I don't have to like keep them hidden away and then awkwardly have to grab them. They're right there, easy access, but no one has to see them whenever they come over, which is super nice. Our rug right here is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It took me so long to find a runner that was big enough for this whole space and it's perfect. And then this little rug is from Target. And then we have our shower, nothing too spectacular. We did add those shelves in there. I'll link those. They're from Amazon, which was really nice because there was no storage in there. I didn't get that. And then we have our towel hooks. And then over here is our closet. It's huge, which is really, really awesome, but nothing super special. I do love how we hang our pants and it's honestly just kind of random stuff everywhere. We have those same baskets up there to house everything. And then these shoe shelves are really great. They're from Bed Bath & Beyond. Super cheap. I feel like they're like 20 bucks and they can hold a lot we just stacked them on top of each other and then i've got all my clothes over here and down here and sam has his clothes right here <laughs> and my other area <laughs> yeah his other area of this apartment <laughs> so we just came from the bathroom and back over to the front door which is where the laundry room is can hardly call it a laundry room it's more like a closet we actually really made use of all the space that we could get with our little laundry room because these were actually more in the middle but sam moved them over so that we could install these shelves and it has been so much better so we just have our detergent and stain remover paper towels toilet paper up there extra sheets and then down here below it we were able to hang like our dyson and our duster our mop um, and all sorts of stuff a ladder in there. It's got a lot of storage So that was really great and I'm so glad we thought about doing that. Okay, so that is it for my apartment tour I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to see where I got everything and again If I forgot anything just leave it in the comments down below But if you guys want to see a little bit more of my daily life You can follow me on Instagram and if you love this video like it and subscribe that would mean a lot But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye